think you can be a good manager, but if you want to truly be a great one, you need to also be a coach. And I think of myself as a coach first because I actively work on unlocking each team member's potential and guiding them through challenges and helping them grow rather than just directing them. My best managers 100% did that for me. And the way I have developed and the confidence I have in my ability to take on problems is a, a clear fundamental reason comes from them. And for example, I can give you an example. One of my direct reports, she is working on actively trying to improve her data literacy. And so she's been taking on more of that work. It would be easy for me to, so to speak, manage these tasks and just tell her step by step what I need her to do. But what I need from her really is not just what the data needs to tell me. I try and give her the high level, big picture objective. Here's what I need. Here's the general overview. And then I let her play around with the data. Once she has something ready, we sit down, we review it together. I give her some more feedback and guidance. And then she goes off and makes changes based on that feedback. Then she has a new product. We meet back again. I call this early slice, mid slice, late slice work. And I give her more feedback. And this process, the thing is, it's a longer process. It requires more iteration. And as you said, managers may not have time, but I know she's learning not just to execute a task, but to think strategically about what we need and how she can make that come to life. The next time we have a problem, I'm not going to have to redo this whole process because she's been given the fundamental tools to be able to think strategically.